Hey, welcome back to the Vintage Swag channel. And so once again, I have three knives here to compare for you. And so all three of these knives are Dragon Ox, which that is what I call a build that has the uh, Spyderco Dragonfly blade. And so all of them are going to have different, all three have different scales. They have different liners, they have different finish and actually different tool sets. And even the Spyderco blades are all three going to be uh, different steels. And so I'll, I'll get into that and I'll show you all, all the differences and then let you guys kind of pick which one you like the best. All right, so we'll start with the one on the left. And so first thing to point out is that these titanium scales are unique because they do not have the cutout. All right, so if you notice how this has the cutout for the corkscrew, whereas this one does not. And now this is still 91 millimeter. Um, a lot of times people confuse it with 93 millimeter because the 93 millimeter does not have um, the cutout on the back either. But this is a 91 millimeter. And so the advantage of having this scale is actually that I can move the tools around however I'd like. And so what that does is it gives me the opportunity to put the Spyderco blade on the right side, which is accessible with your right thumb. All right. Whereas, like with this knife, I cannot move the Dragonfly blade to the far right because this, the, far, the scale on the far right has to have the corkscrew. And so since this is not compatible with this layer, it has to remain on the left side where it has to either access with your left hand or with your right middle finger. Let me get this going right here. All right, right middle finger. The third time's a charm. There we go. And then with your thumb. So you can see it's, it's accessible with your right hand, but not nearly as convenient as it is when it's on the far right side. All right, so that's the first thing is that the titanium scales, they don't have a cutout. Also kind of obvious here is that the peening has been done externally. So you can see that. And also the liners are brass. And so these are done handmade uh, from a sheet of brass. They were shaped, polished. And so it actually turned out really nice. So the finish is, has been acid etched and stone washed. So that's the pattern that it gets. And you'll notice that this is the standard Spyderco blade. It has the VG10 steel. All right, then we're going to get to the rest of the tools here. We have the file, scissors, pliers. All right, then the bottle and the can opener. I think I got that backwards. It's the can bottle opener. Oh well. All right, then the back we have the awl and the universal hook. And we have a small uh, flat screwdriver. All right, so with these brass liners, this actually knife becomes quite hefty. So let's go and we'll weigh it. Comparison. All right, so this knife weighs 215 grams. All right, so that is that knife. Pretty heavy and really unique with the with the scales and everything. All right, so move on to this one in the middle. This one has brass scales, and now these are from Metson Boss, and this is what he calls a circuit board pattern. And these are plus scales, which means it has the, the, um, the tweezers, the pick, it has the pin slot, and it also has the needle slot right there. Alright, then something else unique is that Minton Boss has added a titanium pocket clip. And this is removable. You see up here at top of those two little bolts there, Torx, Torx screws. Alright, and then also the liners here are carbon fiber. Let me get that good here. Alright, so right there you can see the carbon fiber pattern. And that's actually, it's a really tough material and it's nice and lightweight. And on the side of the knife, if you look at it, it just looks like it's like black or like a really dark gray. Kind of dark graphite color, I guess, would be a good way to describe it. All right, then the finish of this knife, of this build, is actually it's been acid etched 
and brass washed. And so that's the pattern that you get. So you have the golden specks in it. All right, and then this blade, this is the K390 steel. All right, so you can see right there. And something else, that I, something else that I've noticed is that the different steels, they actually also acid etch differently. You can see this one is quite a bit darker. And so it's just the way that it react, reacted to the acid. So we've got some oil here from assembly. All right, then also this build has scissors, has the saw, and it has a, a modified, there we go, let me get this out here. There we go. Has a modified um, original blade. And so I have turned this into a Warren Cliff style basically. And serrated the bottom half. Alright, so you see it's been serrated. It's been reshaped and sharpened. Also you'll notice the rubbing, which is normal for acid etch tools. This actually will rub against the secondary tool, which is the combination tool. And you can also see right there where that rubs, which is normal. Even the uh, the original setup, the small blade and the large blade, they actually rub against each other. But with a stainless finish, it makes no difference. Whereas in the acid edge, you get that slight little rub mark. All right, then back, we have the corkscrew. And we have a modified awl. The awl is actually intended to go behind the, the can and bottle opener layer. And so what I've done is I've actually, I've ground this down a bit Made it just about three millimeters uh, thinner, and that way it fits on the back of the um, on the back of the saw layer. All right. Then we also have the parcel hook. All right. So that is that blade. Let me go open up. Be comparing that in a bit. Oh wait, we have to weigh that. There we go. All right, so this one weighs 182 grams. All right, one more time. This one was 215. And this one's 182, 83, whatever. All right, so you can tell it's a little bit lighter than this one. All right, and then our third build here. So it has carbon fiber scales, which already is gonna make it significantly lighter than both of these. And it has gray G10 liners. So again, it's kind of really cool kind of pattern to it. All right, and then this has the acid etched and aluminum wash. All right, so you can see the aluminum wash creates more like silver specks compared to a stone wash. Stone wash is more kind of random uh, kind of pattern to it. Whereas aluminum is just like that, right there. All right, this build has scissors, the saw, file. And then next thing that's unique about this um, um, build is that I've removed the original blade layer that goes here. And instead what I've done is I've taken the spring from the knife layer and I've modified it so that you can put the bottle and the can opener here. All right, so to better demonstrate that, let me close this and I'll explain that. So you can see the bottle and can opener go on the far left side of this knife. That's where they're supposed to go. Whereas on this knife, I have them on the far right side. And so what that does is it replaces the, the large blade and small blade. And that's actually a really cool mod because it actually opens up the opportunity to be able to make a bladeless sack, uh, which is actually what I'm planning to do my next video on, is I'll be making a bladeless Swiss Army knife, which I guess you can't call it a Swiss Army knife anymore. All right, then in the back we have the corkscrew. And once again, we have a modified awl on the back of the saw layer. There, the chisel. And we have the universal hook. All right, so, Let's see, I think I forgot to mention. This blade has the S30V steel. All right, so you can see there, S30V. All right, now let's see what this weighs. All 
All right, this one weighs 126 grams. All right, so that makes this 126, 182, <laughs> I think. And this one was 215. All right, so by far, this one's the lightest. And of course, naturally, the carbon fiber and the G10 is gonna make it a very lightweight knife. Whereas the, the brass scales really bring up the weight on this knife and the brass liners bring up the weight on this one. All right, so those are those three knives. And so let me know which one you like the best, uh, what setup you like, maybe what finish, what scales. And so really interesting to see here what you guys have to say, uh, which one you choose. Um, is it important for you that your knife is lightweight? Um, I know with some people, they actually like the feeling of a hefty uh, blade or a hefty tool. Other people don't want you know a really heavy uh, knife in their pocket, the actual you know odd, odd amount of weight, like pulling down on their pants, pulling down their pocket. So anyways, let me know what you think about that design. Let me know which one you like the best. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.